uh how's it going guys uh today we're going to be watching a video of how to catch a predator so that should be fun but before we can get into all that guys we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers so it really mean a lot if you guys smash the like button and subscribe also have a discord first link below and don't forget to leave a comment and tell me what you think about today's video peace michael gentile looks like he could be the grumpy old grandfather next door but what kind of sick senior citizen would send your kids a perverted picture like this I'm pretty sure a sick senior citizen would definitely send something like this, okay? Or leave your little girl the most disgusting voicemails imaginable. Hey, my little sex kitten. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Gentile is the latest creep I've caught in our special investigative series, Hanson vs. Predator. I can't wait to kiss you and to hold you. I wonder, do people like this not realize how creepy they come off? Like, I heard enough. Just throw away the man and the key, okay? Just, just like, the, I don't even need to see anything else. This man is already a certified creep. Let me tell you, Gentile is one of the worst I've ever seen. His aggressive attempts to seduce a 13-year-old will turn your stomach. I want to make you so happy, my little angel. I love you, baby, so much. Yeah, you can definitely tell this guy is trying to be popular with the kids nowadays. I don't, I don't even know who took this picture, but this man looks like a clown. Gentile is much older than most of the predators I catch. He's 64. He says he's a limo driver. He likes to play drums and he loves to run around in the nude. His email address says it all. Love to be naked. Is it just me or this guy looks like an off-brand version of Sylvester Stallone? On social media, Tetrad posts innocuous pictures of real underage girls. Tetrad never makes the first contact. It doesn't take long for the rat named Gentile to crawl out of the sewer and contact the decoy we will call Brittany. Ah, uh, nothing like the good old going to Google and searching up 13-year-old females or males and, you know, just posting on some random website and I promise you'll catch about 50 predators a night. I sent you a picture on Skype. I'm naked. I would kiss you all over, lol. Yesterday, I went to a river upstate and went nude sunbathing. <laughs> yeah, it's all funny games to those prisoners are asking if you want to go sunbathing. He thinks he's talking to a 13-year-old girl. I want you to feel comfortable looking at naked human bodies. I also want you to learn what they're doing. Watching those movies is your sex education homework, he says. I'm going to give you a test on it tomorrow. Uh, Step back and think I'm going to vomit! <laughs> Gentile asks her to get a banana and do unmentionable things with it. It's just practice for when the real thing ever happens. I want you to imagine that the banana is me. Yeah, you can definitely tell this guy's on a different level, you know, sick and perverted, bro. Like, these text messages are just over T, bro. I don't even know what this man is on right now. Like, seriously, this guy is on some next levelness, man. Not to mention, this guy is probably getting the kink out of teaching and, you know, showing this girl all types of weird stuff. He reveals what could be interpreted as a passion for pedophilia. We went on a tour today of an old castle on the Hudson River. There were two girls around your age. I was looking at those girls today thinking of you and getting so excited. What makes this worse is that this guy is going out of his way and looking at underage girls on the street and just thinking so perverted about them. Like, like these are stories of like how kidnappings happen, okay? And I'm not even joking. Gentile, who calls his wife the witch, tells her he's going out to help a friend. He drives 35 miles from Brewster, New York, to Fairfield. So not only am I assuming that this man marriage is over with, but this man also drove 35 miles for some 13-year-old underage cat, bro. Like, you really sat in a car for, like, for I don't know how long and still thought this was a good idea. Lurking up to the door. He comes inside for just a moment. It all seems like it's going as planned, but then, when he gets inside the door... Did you just see how this man just shut the window? It's like he was trying to keep her from escaping or, like, any sounds from getting out. Do you want anything to drink? I'm going to go outside, okay? Where are you? I'm, I'm going to go grab hey, a drink, all right? Mike? Yeah? Come here, man, please. That motherfucker on swole mode. Gotta go! What? Outside, a dozen cops are waiting for him. Got anything on you? Just a little knife in my pocket. Just a little knife in my pocket. Like if the cops wasn't here and this was a real underage girl, this could have went like entirely bad. Single divorce, married. Married. Soon to be divorced. Married. Soon to be divorced. 
meaning he knew this at some point was going to be on TV in a Hanson versus Predator investigation. Imagine turning on the news and you just see somebody you know, or like your husband or wife, and they're just on the news for this, bro. Like, I wouldn't even know how to react. As far as I understood, she was in her 30s. What was your dialogue between the two of you? Just different things about every, everything. Like? Sex to school, you know. Sex to school? Yeah, everything, parents, and you know. I love how every time they get called, they just instantly, I didn't know how old she was, even though they know in their head, is visible proof of them saying they do not care about their age. Like, it's so crazy, bro. And your response is 13, now that's gorgeous. Yep. Yep, and it gets worse. This man had a hotel room where he's going to take the girl with cameras and all types of stuff. So this man was getting to set up some really weird stuff. I'm not going to say it because the video might get strike down, but you know what I mean. They find Gentile's digital camera. Remember, he told the decoy he wanted to take pictures of her naked. He was set up to actually photograph this sexual encounter in the hotel room. Cops reportedly found 24 sexually explicit images of minors on his cell phone. He was charged with attempted second degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, attempting to entice a minor by computer, and possession of pornography. He pleaded guilty. Yeah, I mean, like, there's no other way you can't plead guilty. I mean, like, they literally have all the evidence on you in the world. Like, even if you didn't, you're still going to go to jail, bro. Like, so it's no, it's like game over. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it. Let me know if you guys want me to react to more videos like this. And just let me know. Suggest them in the comment sections. And I'll most likely watch them. Yep. It's your boy Simply J. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah.